coach, this is open. We can hit him on this. We can hit him on this. Now, I think at the time we hadn't scored yet, right? It was zero at halftime. So, um, you know, but nobody panicked. Everybody was patient. My man Frank Darby was telling me, hey, coach, this is open. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I came right back out first play right after halftime and ran the play Frank Darby told me to play. And so uh, uh, they gave me great information. Um, and that's a tribute to the receivers and the quarterback. You could tell that they're veterans and they, you know, they, they, they weren't wide eyed. They came back and I pulled Nikhil off to the side. I said, what do you like? What's open? He said this, 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 and this. And we came right back just and just doing that. But, uh, you know, really, if we would have hit a couple shots before, you know, I think it would have been a little bit different, but that's how it is. But just they, they just kept fighting and we just kept throwing it deep. Seriously, Frank suggested a play. Oh, absolutely. What was that play? He was. T- wait, it, it, I take it back. It wasn't the first one. That was one I came up with. No, I'm just playing, man. Come on. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't You're knock fine, it up. No but um, no, it was the. Uh, it was um, Nikhil on the uh, the deep ball from the inside, um, and uh, throwing the one to. Um, it was Nikhil on the the inside fade. I think it was. One of those, whatever. But that is what he was talking about, Frank. So, we, can, yeah. you talk, can you talk through the difference or the decision to maybe switch to ten personnel in the second half and why that worked so well for you guys? Yeah, you know, um, we had a hard time running the ball, and so they weren't going to bring in. It was the same guys out there that was going to be out there in ten personnel, and we just thought, well, we're not getting anything going with the run game. You know, we're a big um, RPO tight end involved team. Um, and it just, you know, we just we just couldn't get the, the deep shot doing that. And I just didn't feel like we would, it served us uh, best to stay in that and try to live with the three, the four, the six, the three, four, two, zero, one. And I just thought once they got in man coverage, I just like my, my guys, man. I just, I feel like sooner or later they're going to, they're going to win. For like 50 plus minutes, like I said, really hard time running the ball. How rewarding is it to run the ball when you need it the most? And that last. And that's what we talked. We talked about that all week. That it's going to be really, really hard. They weren't the I think second in the country in in rushing defense last year. So I mean, they they are good, and there's a reason they're good. They don't do a lot. They just sit there and whip up on you. uh, So we talked about we're going to try to wear them out, try to be patient, keep running, and the runs will pop in the fourth quarter. And thank goodness a couple of them did. Um, We kind of. Uh, put a play in that, that we hit to Eno Benjamin there in the fourth quarter. Hadn't really, we hadn't practiced that all week, and we just kind of put that in on the sideline at work. It's a good job. Uh, to you know, all the assistant coaches on the sideline, they did a great job. Just like, hey, coach, I think this might be there, this might be there. So it was a great group effort with the coaches and players. How do you balance being flexible with that, but also trying things that are kind of new for you guys? As far as the flexible with with the play calling, with listening to guys for their feedback. Oh yeah, well you know they, a lot of our receivers, you know they, Nikhil knows he, he'll he'll tell me what he's what he's what's open, and he'll he's very honest and he'll say I can't get outside the guy, I can't get inside the guy. Let's throw this. So we talk all the time. I coached him last year, so I kind of know okay what his strengths are and kind of you know um, what what he struggles with a little bit and um, and so. It's easy to listen to those guys and put your faith into them. Now, I've been around receivers where you're like, yeah, 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 sure, you were open. <laughs> you're always open. But, but uh, no, these guys will tell me the truth, and it, it, it really, really helped us out tonight. Did it happen with Nikhil last year? I mean, also, like, telling you guys on the sidelines last year, too? Yes, yes, it, it, it did, it did. But more so this year. He's yeah. really matured. Sure. He's become a pro. I'm so proud of him, the way he practices and prepares all week long. He just, he's unbelievable right now, the way he prepares and practices every day. Are you surprised at how good that can Communication is with you up top. Uh, yeah, I'm, you know I like to I like to be up there so I can see. I can't see the other side of the field, and so you have to rely on the eyes up in the booth to give you secondhand information when you're on the field. I just have never liked being on the field. I like you know because what I'll do is I'll let all the guys on the field look at the corners and all that stuff that's on their side because now they get ground view of it. They can see. The, where the feet of the DBR is he taken outside or inside away and all that stuff and I like to look at the guys over on the other side so I know exactly what's going on and on those two um, 
completions, the one that ended with the uh, Nikhil touchdown, were those things that you were setting up throughout the game or just two completions that happened to work out? Uh, no, we, we, you know, we came in here and he kept saying, Coach, so we have, we have two different types of deep balls. Right? One, we just go. One, it could become more of a flat line or back shoulder type thing. And so we had to like kind of do some things around in the way we call the plays. But, but uh, he kept saying, you know, I might not be able to get on the other side of him, but, keep, but throw that back shoulder to me, and I got that. So, um, you know, it's just you miss me. That's right. I do miss you. <laughs> and, uh, and so, you know, just like I said, but you got to be able to trust the guys that are telling you that, and, and he's very trustworthy. That play that you mentioned about Eno, that little screen there, was that the one yeah. you were talking about you never practiced really before? Well, we didn't. We ran it the week before, oh, okay. and I was like, well, you know, when you hit those, usually – you know, you wait a couple weeks to do it again. I was like, well, these guys aren't getting out of man coverage, so we, we popped it again to work. I know that Mandy said uh, last week you had uh, two, three pass concepts. How many, how many do you have tonight? Mm. <laughs> tonight, like I said, man, we were drawing stuff up. We were, uh, yeah, just trying anything. Because I just, like, I just believe in my guys. And I just know that, and I know the fans probably get frustrated, but you just keep doing that. You know, you just got to keep believing in that. And, and I see it. I've coached them. I know what Kyle Williams can do. I know what Nikhil Harry, Frank Darby, and I trust those guys, man. And, and so I just know if you just keep on keeping on. Um, I hope now we never have to wait this late for it to hit again. <laughs> but I just trust them, you know, and I'm just going to keep feeding them because I knew eventually. And so what helps me to be able to do that, though, is our defense mm -hmm. holding them to 13 points. I mean, let's not forget about that. Like I said, it's it takes a lot of anxiety and stress off of a play caller when, you know, they're not putting a lot of points on the board either. So that was a great job by Danny and the boys. How stressful is it to be up there when you just can't get anything going on? Oh, there? man, it's so <laughs> just – if you know me, you know I'm like this all the time. Right? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but no, it, it, it was it was I just well I just couldn't believe we couldn't hit a shot. You know I just couldn't believe it. But uh, we finally did, so it all worked out. This big this is your biggest win as a coordinator, isn't it? Um uh, yeah I mean yes I, I would say I would say yes I would say yes and um, um, yeah it is. Were they weren't they they were ranked right? Fifteen. Yeah. Oh there you go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's two games in, now, yeah. but how big is it getting that upset for you guys for the program? Oh, you know, it just to go out and, and like if you can win your non conference games, that just man sets you up to just go into the conference and you're just riding with sky high confidence and you feel good and everybody's that's just you know, a win, you know, just makes the week of practice so much better and the, the more you win the more the kids believe they believe in themselves um, and they trust each other I think that's the biggest thing is now that they have those memories in their mind hey we didn't hit a shot till the fourth quarter so a game in the future we're struggling we're struggling they're gonna have that belief that we're gonna eventually keep doing keep grinding we're gonna end up doing it. did you feel a moment when the momentum shifted and like that yes belief? when Nikhil caught that pass I told them to tell the guys on the field, this water, the dam is about to break. <laughs> I don't know if it broke, but it leaked a little bit, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. What's the actual process of logistically how Nikhil talks to you? Logistically? Yeah, like, like is he, does he have a mic or? Oh, he... no, 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 he, he'll, we, they can get on the headphones. Okay. Yeah, and there's a phone down on the sideline, and then also through, hey, bud. And then also, um, just through Coach Fisher, you know, I'll say, Coach, ask him when he's on the inside, are they playing him outside or are they playing inside? You know, can he beat him in, can he beat him out, all of those things. So that's the kind of information we get during the game. What was the atmosphere like up in the box when you guys finally made that big play? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was great. It was great. And then that field goal, man, when that thing went through and I heard <laughs> – I didn't know, like, I, I was I was debating on closing my eyes and waiting for the crowd <laughs> deal, but I couldn't help it. I had to watch, and then I saw it go through, and I don't even remember what happened after that. And that was so much fun. Have you been in a program where there's so much trust in the kicker that you're willing to, to take knees instead of going for the touchdown because you believe? Yeah, you know, I've been on I've been on programs that there was not, yeah. and so uh, you know, I was like, Are we, is this what you know? Uh, is this what we want to do? Are we good? All right, is everybody good? All right, let's go. You know, so because I really felt that we had the momentum, yeah. And it was a great call by Coach Edwards because you know me, I'm like a dog on a leash. You know, he's having to hold me back because I felt like we could score, but I mean, 
he's the head coach, and that was a great, you know, call. Hey, why would we score right now if we trust our kicker and give him some time to come back, tie the game, and go through all of that junk, right? <laughs> and so, uh, so you know, they had faith in the kicker, and he pulled through, and I felt like we we could have scored there, but but that's why Herm's the head coach, and I'm not. Missing, missing Steve Miller and Zach Robertson. I mean, how much impact did it have on the offensive line? You know, it, that's something I don't get a chance to see until Sunday. Okay. You know, and then I'll watch them, and and that's like one of my favorite things to do because I don't ever get to watch the offensive line play during the game because I'm looking at the secondary and trying to think ahead of play action passes and passes like that. Okay. And so I'll get a, a better feel for it when I watch tomorrow. So were you advocating to Coach Edwards to run the ball, or was it kind of a, a one-sided conversation? No, he was like, hey, what are we doing here? And I was like, what do you want to do here? You know, because <laughs> I feel like we can score. But but no, the smart thing to do was do exactly what we did. And even if we would have missed that field goal, it was the right decision, and it was good. You didn't want any miracle in the Meadowlands here in no, Sun Devil Stadium, no, right? Yeah, that's right, man. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Early on in the fourth quarter, right before Brees had the field goal to get you guys to six, you guys were, I think, on the seven yard line, had the one yard run, two incompletes. What was going on there? Just. You know, um, probably just being too aggressive, you know? And like I said, I. I believe in my guys. I don't believe anybody can stop us on a fade. And those guys did. You got to tip your hat to those corners. Man, those guys played really, really, really good. Like, that, that's probably the best game they've had. You know, um, all the passes that they defended. They did a phenomenal job. I was kind of surprised. They did a really, really good job. Did Michigan State change up their defense against Nikhil in the second half? No, they just played more man press, and they were just like, we're gonna live and die by it, and they, you know, they made the decision. Sometimes you win by it, sometimes you die by it. You know, and it just happened to work out for us tonight. <laughs> Did you get the sense that heat played a factor in any of that? Uh, I would like to think that. I would like that. That's what we were planning on. We were trying to run them, you know, side to side early, and uh, the problem was we couldn't get early first downs to stay on the field and, and keep it going, and and so that the. the uh, so that that would would play a factor. So I don't know. You'd have to ask them. But I think that they were they looked a little more tired in the fourth, obviously.